Hello everybody and welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. I'm Jason. That's Freya. I'm Amy. And we bring you today's episode. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And today we are going good God. <laughs> we are going to talk about another one of our lists. And once again, we're gonna combine our biggest hobby with a lesser hobby, but still pretty big. Um, we want to talk about the worst, in our opinion, not the worst, but five uh, the, uh, truly, uh, truly terrible movie adaptations of books. And there's a lot. And the first one that I'm going to talk about is probably going to be a little controversial, but, I, and I was, I, I'll be honest, I was torn between whether this would make my list of best or my list of worst movie adaptations of a book. And I have I ended up having to put it on worst, and that would be Jurassic Park. So it's please, a phenomenal movie. It is. It's a great movie. And the special effects still hold up. I disagree. I think they're great. I disagree. Now the fact that that he used a lot more practical effects is fantastic. In fact, they intended to use all practical effects, but uh, they were messing around with some CGI. And one of the producers, I think, walked in, and they showed her this little clip and. And she was a huge, 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 huge fan of that little clip, so they ended up doing a little, doing more CGI than they originally planned. Uh, but they wanted mostly practical effects, which is, which was great, and and it was it was a good movie, but it 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 lost a lot from the book. It's so yeah. much different. It's one of the few, and part of the part of how I look at this uh, is if the book is demonstrably superior to the movie, then I, I'm going to put the book, the movie into a in the bad category game. of bad adaptations of, of a book. If both the movie and the book were terrible, then of course it's going to go into the, the bad. Um, but it's also possible for a movie to make it into the best adaptations if the book sucked. That's true. So, uh, so yeah, I, I know it's a controversial one to me, and I love, love the movie, and I've, I've seen all of them, but to me, Jurassic Park is the... The uh, um, the wor one of the the worst adaptation movie adaptations of a book. Now, number two, I don't think it's going to be all that controversial because it absolutely, utterly, completely, totally flopped. The Dark Tower, the Dark Tower, based off of Stephen King's The Dark Tower series, um, based off with the main character of Roland the Gunslinger, who's an awesome character. The the movie, I mean, it flopped for numerous reasons and it sucks because it had an absolutely awesome actor in it playing the gunslinger and from you know some some of the shots with the gunslinger and all that it was cool but the the movie was just it was all over the damn place it was like he tried to take the entire seven book series and just like randomly shuffled them together and then picked out plucked out plot points he was going to use in the in the movie, and that might genuinely be what happened. It, it's yeah, it's just it's all over the place and just absolutely terrible. Just it's just terrible. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. Yeah. It really is. It's bad. Um, the next one that we we're going to talk about actually comes from the same author, and this one is also going to be controversial to people that are old enough to remember seeing this in the theaters. Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery was. I mean, it was it was a hit. It, it was a huge hit when it came out. Uh, but as far as an adaptation of the book and, and once again the book is extremely superior to the movie not just a little bit better because oftentimes the book is going to be better than the movie you can put more exposition you can put more explanations you can put more character development and plot development like jurassic park com I, if i recall correctly com completely dropped the scientific reason why they managed to keep reproducing um so oftentimes the movie is a little bit better than the book or a little bit worse than the book but in this case, Pet Cemetery, the book is enormous levels beyond the movie. So we definitely have to put Pet Cemetery as a terrible, 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 or at least a bad uh, movie adaptation of a book. Mm -hmm. The next one, I don't think is going to be controversial at all for anybody that's uh, a fan <laughs> of the book, and that's The Hobbit. Because first off, you took a three-book trilogy and turn it into a three movie trilogy that was one of the greatest movie trilogies in the history of cinema and so your your uh, follow your follow up you take a one book 130 page book and two no, notes and no. uh, um, and turn it into a three books the three movie trilogy you use 
far more special effects than he used in that original trilogy, and added more characters that weren't in the book, and just, just stretched it out like a piece of taffy. And honestly, The Hobbit is not as good as Lord of the Rings to begin with. No. It's a, it's a good book, don't get me wrong. I've read Lord of the Rings probably 40, 50 times. I've read The Hobbit maybe 10, if that. Um, the Hobbit, it, it's a good book. It's a good book. It's, it's nowhere near the quality of Lord of the Rings, and yet somehow trying to make three movies out of it, it, it just it makes no sense. No. And it also made a movie that wasn't any good. It was, it was terrible, 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 terrible trilogy. I mean... Absolutely. The only saving grace for the trilogy, in my opinion, was uh, Benadryl, Cucumber Patches, Smog. That was it. And for the final one, this one she's going to talk about more than me. This is one of those those that I, and okay, this is a big controversial opinion, that I think the books were terrible, but were extremely, extremely, extremely popular. The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games, the, the books were... Were I they were they were okay, but I can tell you this uh, from a, a military veteran's point of view, how and, and these these children were Exploited. turned into soldiers basically in the first book. They were turned into soldiers, and the mindset that they start developing in the second book is just so unrealistic and no, just it just flat doesn't happen. That I, it, it completely ejected me out of the book, and I couldn't finish the second book. Um, so to me, the books weren't that good, but I can still say the books were better than the movies. Well, and the, uh, the books were okay. The first, the first book was great. The second book was still pretty decent, and the third just honestly felt like a cash grab. And that's exactly 100% what the movies felt like to me. It's like they, it was pretentious. I mean, they... Which the books are, too. Right. But, I don't know, it just... They tried too hard to force it into being a cultural phenomenon that it just was right. never going to be. It, it really wasn't. It wasn't going to be the next Harry Potter. It, it wasn't going to be the next uh, Percy Jackson. I mean, it just Which we're wasn't. we talk about eventually. Right. Um, not in this video, but eventually. Um... And yeah, I mean that, and, and that's the thing is is when the movies came out, The Hunger Games as as a book series was talked about a lot, it was being talked about all the time. Right. Nobody talks about it now. No. It's just it's gone, um, and you can't blame the movies for that. That just tells you how 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 the books were not as high quality as everybody was. And even acting. in the the terrible the realm of terrible books that became cultural phenomenons, Twilight's still hanging around. Yeah. I mean, more is more, more is, is a joke meme, and a meme, but but I mean, it's still it's got the staying power. It's still in the in the the mind of. Absolutely, still it's still within the 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 cultural zeitgeist. Absolutely, you know, Twilight, one hundred percent. Game of Thrones, one hundred percent. Even though I I'm not a fan of the books, um, but. Yeah, Hunger Games has basically vanished, um, which I would actually also say the same thing of, say, Divergent. Um, but I, I enjoyed the, both the books right. and the movies. And we'll talk about the movies in another another video, um, and probably the books. But, uh, yeah, there is five, in our opinion, and again, we understand this is just opinion, it's going to be controversial, five terrible, 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 terrible. movie adaptations of books. Some of the books were really good, though, so if you have not read the books, you have to go read those books after you hit the like and subscribe buttons. And we will see you next time. Bye! Bye